Welcome back to my video channel, How to Eat Chocolate. Uh, today we're going to be talking about fuel the fear and sell anyhow. Basically, the concept of feel the fear and, and do it anyway by a woman called Susan Jaffer is a great book uh, that I'd highly recommend to everyone. Um, is is the foundation for where we really need to start as salespeople. And many of you may already know about something called sales call reluctance, the fact that many salespeople find it more and more difficult as time goes on to proceed to the next communication with the next customer. Uh, sales call reluctance is actually a, a, a classified psychological disorder. Uh, but it comes because of the fact that what we do is, as human beings, we are conditioned uh, the behaviorally uh, through the avoidance of pain, seeking pleasure, and doing what's easiest. Our job isn't easy. Uh, pain is part of what we do, and uh, the pleasure that we seek may require that we go through pain. Uh, this is contrary to human programming, and because it's contrary to our programming, uh, we've got to do something else about it. There are a number of things that you can actually do. One is, is that uh, you can feast on pain. Uh, that what I mean by that is, is that you can actually churn, turn in your mind's eye uh, the idea through through uh, imagination and through concentration, uh, the the difficulties that you're having into opportunities. There are a great many types of occurrences in our lives that can actually uh, produce more sales call reluctance. Uh, in other words, what happens is, is that we are conditioned more likely uh, to experience more pain around the work we do. Uh, what you can work on that will actually evolve from this, that will make things easier for you, uh, are, are a couple of things around cognitive behavioral therapy. Cognitive behavioral therapy is really so simple. It's basically about the idea that you can learn your way around your behavioral difficulties. You can change the way you think. If you can create a new way of thinking, uh, then you can decrease the amount of pain involved around the behavior. But uh, it's, it's simply you know, a way of changing your behaviors uh, through changing your thinking. Feeling the fear, you know, whether it's at work or in your social life, uh, human beings experience emotion at a very deep level in their brain. Uh, it goes back to the part of the brain that hasn't really developed over the last four million years. It's a, it's a central portion of our brain called the limbic system. And that's where our emotions set. Uh, to make changes in those areas of your brain is very difficult. It's a, difficult to make those changes in your life. Uh, but people do it all the time. And one of the things that this whole site is about, the, the work that I'm doing uh, in, in the, the channel here, How to Eat Chocolate, is all about how to make changes to change your life. Yeah, I was a specialist in change management in the business world, a sales trainer, uh, and, and a business consultant. The, the, the whole thing now that is moving into the, the personal development side of this um, is working with individuals on how to change their lives. Watched a very interesting program the other night uh, uh, of the uh, first uh, beauty contest really uh, for uh, transsexuals and all of these uh, men who had been changed into women who had, had become I, I found it fascinating because all of these people made major traumatic changes in their lives and yet uh, so many of us have the difficulty with, with just getting the little things done to, to make things easier for ourselves Really, it's simply, one thing you have to realize is from the very beginning that everything around you is imaginary. Human beings fail to grasp the concepts that society, you know, the homes we live in, the cars that we drive in, everything that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis is something that was imagined by a human being and constructed from that thinking. 
you can create your own thinking. You can create your own environment and you can work from there. And that environment can boost you to greater success in life. Now, whether or not you're Anthony Robbins or any of these guys, and I'm not talking about going down the road of you know becoming this, this major motivational speaker. I'm not. I'm not there. What I'm trying to tell you here is this: is that you can make a major impact on your own life by creating a different way of thinking, and that different way of thinking comes from uh, deciding what you want, how you want it, and what you're going to do to get there. It's simple enough. There's not a lot of work to it. All you need to do is create that outcome. If you can imagine it and then push yourself to be that, then you can gain it. One thing I would suggest, though, is, is that maybe the, the type of reality that most of you have looked at so far isn't ideal for you. Most of us actually fail to achieve these goals because they're not really our goals. Not really what we want. I've told this story an awful lot throughout the years of training about how my first experience as a salesperson to achieve success was based on a book. The book was called ESP and How to Make It Work for You in Telesales. What was interesting was that I read this book and believed at the end of it, that I had the ability to cast out ideas in my mind to people who were apparently able to perceive this through some sort of mental radar. I believed that they were picking up on these signals and buying from me because of the signals that I was sending. I believed that by transmitting these signals that I could actually change the outcome of the sales presentation and I was highly successful at it. What I later determined had happened was that I was contacting customers and presenting with such an enthusiasm and I was listening to them with such detail because I believed I was picking up these details from my mind that I achieved a higher close rate. That was simple enough as it was. I changed the way I thought and, and I believed that what I was going to achieve was going to be significant. I achieved significantly. Look, yeah, look, that's all I got really to say on the ideas here and everything. I, I, I'll try and put some more things together on it later on again. Once again, my name is Ronald Hughes. I'm um, here on How to Eat Chocolate, and I wish you the best of selling. Take care. Bye.